Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Scorpio. So we have the Five of Wands. We have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Let's see, what is this? <laughs> the Two of Swords. Mm, somebody is very conflicted. Wow, very conflicted. What is this? Somebody is conflicted about whether or not they want to keep waiting on something or if they want to keep waiting to see if something will grow or if they want, I don't know, they want to stop investing in a situation. I don't know. Let's see. Five of Wands. Mm, let, someone's learned a lesson. Someone's healing. Conflict, disagreements, tension. Hmm. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. The Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, like somebody, you're giving up on, somebody's giving up on something because they've been waiting for someone to give them something solid and stable. And I don't, I feel like someone's, there's like an energy here of impatience. Something's not growing. Something's not manifesting here. Tell me about the Two of Swords. Yeah, somebody is like, somebody not making up their mind is it's like something has a lot of potential but somebody is not making up their mind to manifest it or have it and it's just keeping like something that has a whole lot of potential for manifesting tell me about the two of pentacles somebody needs to get out of indecision i don't know guys with all these twos it's kind of looking like i don't know somebody has a choice between two different things it looks like here two people two paths whatever it is clarify the two of pentacles yeah six of swords Someone feels like they have to make a decision about moving on from something or leaving something behind. Hmm. King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Energy. We also have um, Aries, Gemini, Virgo. Yeah, somebody's like leaving a um, living, like a, a marriage. Somebody's getting a divorce. Or they're really stressed out about this situation. Like someone's in a situation where there's a lot of conflict over money. It's almost like there's some type of like drama going on and it's like teaching somebody a lesson. Tell me about this five of wands and the ten of swords. Yeah, it's like somebody didn't make a good decision. Somebody was holding back or uh, not making up their mind about something, like I said, and now they've had some type of failure. This conflict is like a lesson learned. Tell me about what this five of wands is about. Mm. This could be just them being someone needing to heal or you know what this is somebody it, it's like the more you heal and the more you move on from somebody here the more conflicted this other person gets and this is somebody that has been indecisive about you they've not been wanting to make up their mind about moving on leaving something behind or moving on from something letting something go they've been indecisive about choosing you but it's like you guys are starting to heal. You got sick of waiting for this person to give you what you deserved. You were sick of this person to have it, have it waiting for this person to give you something stable. This person is just like, they don't make good decisions. They're very childish. It looks like they weren't ready though, guys. I'll be honest with you. They weren't ready. They were holding back from you. They were afraid of taking a leap of faith on this. They were careless with you. They, they definitely mishandled you. But it's like the more you start healing and moving on, the more conflicted and like insecure and vulnerable somebody else is feeling here tell me more about what the five we have leo energy we have aquarius tell me about this five of wands see why is this oh see mm, see it could be dealing with the capricorn what does this five of wands mean for my collective what does this five of wands mean okay so yeah the six of cups in reverse what is, but what does this mean for my collective? There's somebody that's still holding on to you. Like, I just can't make it up. Like, someone's still stuck on you. They feel like they can't let you go. There could be tugging on your energy, but this person's a very, they don't want, oh, you know what? Maybe somebody also doesn't want to fight with you. Maybe you already have been in conflict with this person. I do feel like this person is making the decision to move away from something, like get a divorce, leave a family situation, leave a financial situation. I don't know. They are making that decision. They're moving away from indecision here. I feel like somebody has learned their lesson, but they also feel like 
does somebody feel like there's competition for you or it's like this person is afraid what does this mean for this person the five of wands yeah six of pentacles in reverse sorry guys they're out there running something yeah the two they stopped giving to something what does this have to do with their connection with my collective yeah, they love you. Could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. They have emotion, ooh, that they've been hiding from you. Tell me what the Seven of Swords is. Mmm, I'm... Mm. What is the Hierophant in reverse? The Empress, the High Priestess, the King of Wands. Ooh. I feel like this person feels like you're about to have somebody new in your life. They can maybe feel this. Yeah, Ace of Wands on the back of the, the deck as I'm saying this. Or, what you, you know what it is, guys? It's like, this per, if it's not another person that's coming towards you, this person is super insecure. And I feel like they've, they've had no problem, like, being lustful with you or being passionate with you, having some fun with you, keeping things more lighthearted. But when it comes to them expressing their love to you or their feelings and emotions to you, they've been hiding that from you. Like, uh, you guys know that this person's sexually attracted to you, but you're not, you don't know if this person, like, loves you, and they've been hiding that from you. Tell me more about what's going, I need more about what the storyline is here. What is this? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, the moon in reverse, something is being revealed. Pisces energy, or some type of clarity. Yeah, repressed emotions. Somebody's been maybe trying to, yeah, the page of wands. Something is being revealed. See, why are these cards coming out weird? Somebody's about to reach out to you, release some type of fear. They're getting clarity. They're understanding something. They're going to message you. They have a new clarity about something, a new outlook on something. What does that mean for their connection with my collective? Somebody may want to finally settle down. I don't know. I see they're wanting to compromise with you guys, but there's something still not right about this person. They're wanting to, are not compromise. They're wanting to, well, yeah, kind of. They're not wanting to compromise. They're wanting to reconcile with you. They're wanting to come back together with you. But... Something's not right. Yeah, they haven't changed. Mm, the world, the Nine of Cups. They see you as like their end all be all. Yeah. Um, what was I gonna use? Okay, tell me more about what's happening between these two energies. Or tell me what's going on. Let's see what's going on with this person. Like, what do they need to? Why is this person coming through for my collective today? Why do they need? Why was this such an urgent message that they needed to know? Or why did I feel like I, they needed to know this? Why, spirit? Knight of Swords. So somebody's about to reach out. To, somebody's about to rush in out of the blue. That's why they're wanting you to know because you're about to get some type of sudden. Someone's about to arrive suddenly. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. What about this Knight of Swords? They want to know what's going on with you. Yeah, they want to know what's up with you. I feel like this person wants to know if like you have comp there's competition for you. You're dealing with other people. Tell me more about what's the tea. There, someone's coming in to get some type of information. Queen of Swords. But I feel like you guys are not going to be opening up to this person. Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy again. Yeah, boundaries. Tell me more about what this means for them. The sun. Mm -hmm. The five of pentacles. What is the sun? Leo energy. The knight of wands. The ace of cups. They want to take a risk on this. But why is the five of pentacles, though? It's time. They've left something behind. They could have left somebody out in the cold, guys. They could have ghosted somebody. They could have just abruptly left somebody's life. What does that mean with their connection with, or like, yeah, it says divine intervention, no more running. What's that mean for their connection with my collective? Yeah, six of, um, yeah, five of wands. They want to move on from some type of conflict. Yeah, waiting, feelings of neediness, hopeful they'll return. What are they, what is their goal? What is their intentions? They want to get some type of information. This person has been watching you. They want to know something. What do they, they want to get some type of clarity or a truth. What is it that they want? Or they've learned a lesson. What is this page of swords energy? What are they wanting to get? Queen of Pentacles. What about the Queen of Pentacles? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. See, 
two of swords maybe they're reaching out to you to get some type of clarity and that's going to help them make a decision about because okay so you know what guys I feel like this person is coming. I don't know what's going on with them. There's another. What is going on between them and this other energy? They had a tower moment with that person. That's probably what this five of wands is. Yeah, they had a tower with that person. Scorpio, something unexpected happened. It happened, some type of divine intervention. And somebody possibly got left out in the cold or rejected. Yeah, but the worst was what happened between them and that person. The queen of wands. What about the queen of wands? What? What does that mean for this other energy? It was somebody from their past. What about this past person? Children. Could have been somebody they had children with. What about it? Emperor. Eight of Swords. They felt trapped in a situation because there were children involved. Um, yeah. They, there was children involved. They felt trapped in a situation. They felt stuck. They felt like there was nothing that they could do about it at the time. Yeah. But I feel like that situation fell through. Yeah. I feel like that situation definitely fell through. Um, I feel like they desire you. You're the one that they feel drawn to. They want to manifest something with you, but they, they don't, they can't manifest something with you if they don't make up, they, they're holding on to somebody else and they don't want to let that go. Yeah, no. But what I'm getting guys is that you could be dealing with a person. They want to come in and see what you got going on. And then like that, that's going to determine whether or not they're going to choose you or not, or decide what's like, if they want to be with you or not. So like, for example, they say they come in, they reach out to you, you answer and they like, they want to see if you're, if you answer, then they're going to assume that you're available, that you have somebody else, right? I don't think that that's going to lead to the best outcome with this person. I feel like this person wants to know if you're still available. I hope that makes sense. I don't feel like they've completely left that other situation behind or it's like they didn't end up getting what they thought they were going to get from that situation. But it's like before they completely shut the door on that other situation, I think that they want to see. Cause like, I feel like what's going to make this person want to completely shut that door is if like, they feel like they're going to lose you. Like, that's, what's so stupid. What's going to make them make, what's, what, what are they needing to make this decision? Yeah. Two of wands. Yeah. Waiting. They want to keep you waiting on them. So if this, if you give the, this person the impression that you're still waiting, they're going to keep, keep like, keeping you wait. Why, why do they, why are they, it's like, they don't have any initiative here guys to choose you right now or to remove themselves from this situation. Yeah, this is stupid. So they're going to come and engage to see, like, maybe even want to, like, sleep with you. I don't know, guys. But they're going to come and engage, like, what's going on with you or try to get some information on you. So after they get this information, yeah, Mirage calling for you to go within. King of Wands, Aries Leo, Sag Energy, Seven of Cups. They just still have a choice to make here about who they want to settle down with. Or what about Four of Wands? Strength. Yeah, there's an uh, there's like a marriage in the way or another commitment. Not like there's another commitment here. There's another like there's a living situation, a commitment or a marriage here. That yeah, and it says awakening. What's that mean for their collect the collective? What a catch! They're awakening to who you are. Like they were undecided about you, but they're seeing like th you know the collective is a catch. Like they're the ones I st should extend my offer to. My intuition has been telling me that already, but I don't know what's wrong with this person and why they haven't. But this person has a fear of losing you. So if they feel like it's unfortunate guys that you know we have to play games with people like this but it's like they do have love for you which that's that's unfortunate too that they have to treat you know act like this i don't i feel like they feel stuck in another situation they may live with that person they may have money tied up with that person they could be married to that person for some of you but it's like they come in see if you'll entertain them and if you, if you entertain them you spend some time with them you, you keep up a conversation with them you whatever if you give the impression that you're single and you're not dealing with anybody else and they feel like they can continue to like stay in indecision, there's, they don't feel any motivation to make a decision about you. Like it's ridiculous. But I feel like if you guys, cause with the, I don't know guys, I feel like you guys are sick of this person with the seven of pentacles in reverse, like in the ace of pentacles. Like I feel like you're like, you won't make up your mind about me. I'm moving on. Like some of you guys are literally going to reject this person. Yeah. Let's see. How is, um, how is my collective going to take to this communication, this person rushing in? How are they going to take to this? We have mirroring. You're going to be matching this person's energy. It's like you feel like this person comes towards you and they don't really express any feelings and emotions to you. They don't act like they really want you or anything. like. You're going to, if you're going to be giving them very little energy, very little reaction. You're going to be matching their energy is what I'm getting. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, you're not going to give much energy to this. Yeah, and it's like, I feel like you guys feel like you and this person need to be apart for right now. 
How are they going to handle this person? Five of Swords, yeah. See, I told you. Didn't I just say, like, it, isn't it suck that we have to play games like we have to play games like this? But it says mind games and betrayal and toxic. So I'm not saying that you guys are toxic or. <clears throat> it's like you got to kind of beat this person at their own game type thing. You know, you, you know, you got to like not engage with this person, even if you love them, even if you, you know, you, you desire to have something with them. You've been waiting a long time for them to give you something stable and solid. You got to play the game that they play. Okay. Like that's what this reading is about. You got to, I see. And it's like, you guys are kind of caught on to this person. You know how to like, you, it's like, you guys maybe feel like, you know, that you shouldn't give this person too much of your energy or that you can't trust them or that you got to like, just be very like short and bland or maybe even ignore this person. Yeah. So I see you guys kind of being very like, um, yeah, like playing, playing their game kind of, or like knowing how to like handle this person now, like kind of being strategic and. You see how this girl, she's like holding the sword behind her. Like, I feel like you guys are going to ignore this person, but it's like a strategic move. Like, you know exactly what you're doing by doing this, either whether it's protecting your energy. It's like this person's coming in to talk to you, right? But they don't know that you have the clarity. Like, they, they it's like this person thinks that they can play you still. Mm-hmm. This person is like, you see how this dude in this picture, he has his sword visible. You know, you can see his sword, right? This person thinks that they're more clever than they actually are. Like they're, they've become very predictable, right? What they don't know is that you have, you see the truth about them. You have the clarity, you know exactly how to handle them. You know how to, how to strategically deal with them now, right? They don't know this. Yeah. Look at this queen of swords. I'm telling you, boundaries, independent, not falling. It's like, you're going to be sending this, sending like this person, a. uh, for a loop because I don't think that they're expecting this. Yeah, they're not expecting this. They're not expecting to, yeah, look at this, left out in the cold, feeling rejected, lonely. Yeah, that's how this person's gonna see, how this person is going to feel. And it's like, now they're gonna, this is possibly gonna be a tower moment for this person. Like, I do feel like they have another, per it's like they're gonna feel more drawn to you. They're gonna want you back. They're gonna feel like they lost you. They're gonna feel like, Mm -hmm. And this is all divinely guided. Like it says divine intervention. They're not expecting this. And it's like, that's when they're going to feel like, okay, it's time. I have to make a decision now. Like I can't stall. I can't wait any longer. I can't stall anymore. Yeah. That could also be with the seven of pentacles in reverse is in the ace of pentacles. This person feeling like, all right, the time is now I've already wasted too much time. I need to stop, you know, being patient or I need to do something now and come in and offer this ace of pentacles. So, but can they trust, trust that ace of pentacles though? We have the ace of swords. It says that they're being truthful. Yeah, this will be a breakthrough, clarity, and honesty. So, yeah, it looks like you will maybe be able to... Yeah, what about the Frozen, though? I don't like that. Four of Cups. Can they trust this Ace of Pentacles? Page of Wands. Can they... Uh, internal conflict. They still... They're coming in and offer saying that they want something stable with you, but I don't... Mm, King of Swords. Nine of Swords. They are so conflicted about you. I don't know why. Can they trust this offer that's coming in? Uh, mm, world money focus they chose one if they chose a situation of money over love that's come to an end what's that mean for my collective the chariot they're moving toward you yeah wanting to put work and effort into this but it's like they're walking away from something to be able to come and offer you something stable and it's like they've been very indecisive about this and i feel like this person's been in this energy of one and their cake and eat it too like if they could they could hold they were they were going to hold on to both of these situations as long as they possibly could. That's what I'm kind of getting from this. So I don't know. This person probably had you very conflicted at some point. Like you were sad over this person. Um, but I, you're, it's like you're overcoming, you're healing. Like you're, you, you're overcoming whatever blockages or obstacles this person caused for you or put it, you know, that. Yeah, I don't know how else to put it. It's like someone's moving away from an option. Unexpected. I'm telling you, this is what I'm saying. The answers you seek are coming, but when the answers arrive, it might be too late or you have moved on. Yeah, that's what they're, and they're not expecting that. Yeah, they sent you, make, or you, it's like they're going to not have like a very clear picture of what, about what's going on with you, or they've been sending you mixed signals 
I told you they've been very conflicted. That cloudy space between hot and cold is their way of telling you they're not totally sure if they're into you or not. Well, they were, yeah, I'm telling you, you guys are going to be matching this person's energy. I can't make it up. Like you guys know how to like deal with this person now until both of you learn to let, it says the battle of the wits. Until both of you learn to let your guards down and be vulnerable, this love will continue to be a battle. Well, they're getting this version of you now because of how they've treated you. Yeah, now they're missing you. Their life feels empty without you. They miss you more than words can say, but they think it's too late to fix things. Yeah, they betrayed you. Their fleeting heart will only end up betraying you in the end. Your soul deserves better. Yeah. Music. So I just heard like some type of music could have revealed a betrayal to you or like pay attention to the music that, you know, kind of pops into your head that could be revealing uh, what's going on between you and this person that you may not see, you know, they haven't confessed to you or told you the truth about music brings them closer to you. Certain songs remind them of just how special your connection was to them. Dark side. Yeah. There's some things about this person that they've been trying to keep from you and not want not wanting you to find out about. They have a dark side that no one knows and feels it's their true side, but too 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 afraid to show you. All right, there's too many. Okay, now it's falling on the floor. We have insatiable. I told you they feel very attracted to you. They have an insatiable thirst, a thirst that no one else but you can satisfy, craving you more and more. We have frequency. They are aligning to the frequency of love and operating at a high frequency vibration with openness to receiving. How are they in this? Okay, so it's like it looks like this person is gonna start. You know, you know what's happening here too. They are gonna get in alignment, and it says they have stepped into their power and taking action towards you. They will not miss their mark this time. They're discovering something in regards to lustful desires. If they, they're maybe, they're discovering the difference between the two. They're discover, discovering that this wasn't just sexual feelings that they had for you, that this was something more more than this, more than that. And I feel like if they had somebody else, they're realizing that that other connection was just lust. They saw or heard something that turned their sense of reality upside down, left them feeling powerless and trapped. I told you, this person had like, they felt like, they, they, they felt like you, were, you were predictable. They thought that they could pretty much, you know, know how you were gonna react if they reached out to you and rushed in. But they're about to realize that it's they're not going to get that same reaction. It says there is a difference between love and lust. Don't let your desire destroy you. Overcome the spirit of lust. Yeah, unseen factors. There's more to this love story, though. You cannot see it now. There's still more to unfold. Yeah, it's like this person has been waiting for you to come back towards them or something. They search for you and everything, feel you. Maybe this you always did come back to this person. So maybe that's why they're also feeling some type of way because you, you're not coming back towards them. Always in the back of their mind, hoping they run into you. And it says, brewing up. Be ready to accept, expect the unexpected because something is brewing. And it didn't I say something is brewing? Isn't that how I started this reading? Or like I tried to um, film this a few times. And one of the intros, I said, something is brewing, which is insane. Something is brewing. Yep. Something unexpected. We have two cards of the unexpected. They're like getting time. They're growing impatient with waiting for you to come back too and reach out to them. It's making them nervous that you're healing and you're, there's maybe competition for you. Haunted their vivid dreams. Haunt them. They dream of how they broke your heart and you moving on. With... Guys, I swear I did not read this before I said this. But yeah, exactly. They dream of, of you moving on with someone else. They could have literally had a dream of you being with somebody else. But it says breaking free. They are freeing themselves from their self-imposed prison and leaving behind all that kept them away from you. Yeah, for some of you, it's their damn family. Yeah, or it's just like they felt you were very different from them and that scared them or they were, you were different from what they were used to. There's cultural differences, different values, beliefs, or traditions that pose a challenge to this connection. Because I did see the forbidden card and the forbidden card was talking about maybe like friends or family doesn't approve of you guys, which for, I don't know why. Why is that? Is there is there someone that doesn't approve? I don't know, but it says resurrection, what you thought to be lost forever will come back. And you'll witness the impossible made possible. And it says the gods favor you. Now is the time your prayers have been heard and you will succeed and be vindicated. So whatever, if there are people that don't like you or don't want you and this person together, you're going to be vindicated. Yeah, it's, it's getting too hard for this person to stay away from you. 
Why is ending here? What does ending mean for this connection? Because maybe something is ending, but it's going to get resurrected. Yeah, look at this coming apart. Maybe they're going through a change or a transformation. You have really triggered them to level up. Meeting you was unexpected. You changed their whole world forever, feeling lost as they lose their old identity. Yeah, exactly. Permanent mark. You left a permanent mark on their heart that can't be erased. Even if they tried, you will always be remembered. So yeah, like this person has been telling you, they're investigating, they're trying to get information on you. They are emotionally unavailable. It is for your highest good to move on and find your happiness again. But it says investigating. They are secretly snooping around and asking friends about you in order to see if you're dating someone new. It's almost like this person thinks you don't know what you do know. I hope that that makes sense what I'm saying. Like they, you know more than they, they think you know. And I feel like that's what, that's what's, yeah. This person's kind of like um, underestimating you. Yeah, they're, they're underestimating you, but they're in for a shock here.